In these problems, we have some more work with rationalizing denominators. That is getting these uh, radical signs, these square root signs, out of the denominators or fractions because mathematicians don't like them there. Uh, and our method that we've been using is to find the conjugate of the denominator. And uh, the conjugate of the denominator, if the denominator is, well, in this case, let's call it a minus b, the conjugate is going to be a plus b. So you just change the sign in between the two terms. When we multiply those two together, we rely on something called the difference of squares, uh, which means we're going to, as a result, get a squared minus b squared. So it makes the math on the bottom pretty easy. So the conjugate here is going to be the square root of 5 plus 1. And of course, we really want to multiply this fraction by the number 1, so we're not actually changing the value of it. So we multiply it by that on the top as well. And then if we do this multiplication and simplify, we will ha have our answer. We will have rationalized the denominator. So let's do the bottom first because it's easiest. This is a minus b times a plus b. So using the uh, rule of uh, difference of squares here, we can just say the answer is a squared minus b squared. Well, if a is the square root of 5, the square root of 5 squared is just going to be 5. And b is negative. Uh, sorry, b is 1, so 1 squared is 1, so we've got a minus 1. So the bottom of this fraction is going to be 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. The top requires a little more work. What we need to do here is FOIL. So we have two binomials. Um, so let's do that. Let's take the first terms and multiply them uh, by each other. 2 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is going to be 2 times 5. Okay, and the outside terms two times the square root of five plus or, and a plus one, uh, so two times the square root of five times one is just two times the square root of five. Oops, get my two in there, and then the inside terms negative three times the square root of five, so minus three times the square root of five, and our last terms is negative three times one, that's a negative three. Now we need to simplify a little bit here. Two times five is ten. So 10, and then I'll put the number terms together, 10 and minus 3, and then 2 times the square root of 5 minus 3 times the square root of 5, that's just a negative 1 square root of 5. So I'll write it like that. So putting this all together, 10 minus 3 is 7, and we have our minus square root of 5, and all of that is over 4. So just to review, we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator over the conjugate of the denominator. We use the, uh, the uh, difference of squares rule to make the math easy on the bottom part. We FOIL the top and then simplify. Let's try one more just for practice. So we have 2 times the square root of 7 plus 3 over the square root of 7 plus 2. Here's our denominator. We want to multiply by the conjugate over the conjugate. Our conjugate is going to be square root of 7 minus 2 instead of plus 2. And then we have to multiply by the same thing on the top. OK. On the bottom, difference of squares, uh, we're going to have square root of 7 squared, so that's just 7. And then minus 4, because 2 squared is 4. So our bottom is 7 minus 4. On top, we need to FOIL. Square root of 7 times 2 times the square root of 7 is 2 times 7, or 14. The outside terms, 2 times the square root of 7 times a negative 2 times the square root of 7 is negative 4 times the square root of 7. Inside terms, 3 times the square root of 7. And the last terms, a positive 3 times a negative 2 is going to be minus 6. All right, let's simplify. On the bottom, 7 minus 4 is 3. On the top, we have 14 and a negative 6, so that's a positive 8 for the number term. And then negative square root of, uh, negative 4 times the square root of 7 plus 3 times the square root of 7 is a negative 1 square root of 7. And there is our answer. So that is some work with uh, rationalizing the denominator with conjugates and when we have that square root going on in the numerator.